果てしない未来広がるこの空新しい自分に生まれ変わる世界中幸せの勇気を降らせてみせるよ Shut the fuck up when I'm talking, you stupid anime bitch. Hi guys, it's me, Cracksmoker96, and uh, I'm the one who hosted this contest. I'm the one you guys have been drawing. You guys probably already know who I am if you even care about watching this video, so uh, I'm not gonna introduce myself. However, I will introduce our three celebrity guest judges today. After I review all of these really briefly, real quick. I'd like to introduce you guys to all of the fan art that we received for the art contest. You're not gonna believe it, but I got PewDiePie, dude. I literally got PewDiePie on this video, so just, just keep watching, dude. I say dude too much. But, uh, anyways, starting off, we have art... Pascalis. Uh, I really like this one. I like the anime style. I like how, uh... I, <laughs> I mean, you guys already know. Alright, next up we've got Assassin Queen 24's one. I really like the uh, traditional media. I like the disposable cup in the background. It's pretty epic. I like the drawing itself, too. I don't know, Sharpie's just a really good medium. I, I've drawn a lot with Sharpie in the past, and it's always so, so satisfying. <laughs> Alright, and then next off, we've got a bottom berry, or mint berry. And, uh, we've got a low poly PlayStation 1 Choops. That's pretty epic, dude, I'm not gonna lie. As you can see, there's a, a lot of things from my tweets. And then right next to it, uh, we've got an ornamental water vase, and, uh, yeah, we're ballin', dude, pretty much. This image is just ballin'. Alright, next up, we got a Down Tragics Doomer Beppo. Uh, this is pretty epic. I F with it. I F with that heavy, dude. I, I literally F with that, dude. Uh, alright, next up, we've got God's Trash Bin. I think this one's pretty cool. I like the, uh, the reference to the jar, you know, as someone who's seen the inside of the jar many times, it's, it's pretty nice to see an artistic depiction of it, I gotta say. So, uh, good job. I really like how many, uh, how many 3D entries there are this time around. Alright, next up, we've got, a uh, Ike SFW, uh, so here I am getting crucified while there's a giant skull, a uh, graffiti that says boy kisser and semen, and then there's a, an AR-15 on the ground. That, that's pretty epic, I'm not gonna lie. And then, uh, looks like there's some sort of a pentagram on the ground with the stars behind it. Possibly a reference to the lore in that, uh, I'm, I'm canonically a Gnostic Christian and a, uh, a heretic by the standards of the Catholic Church, so this is how they see me, this is what they want to do to me. Guys, you gotta protect me, I'm gonna be honest. You saw what they did to my boy Young Jeezy, so... Alright, next up we've got the one by, uh, Jeff VRT VXVO. And this one's pretty epic, I actually really like the style. I like how, uh, disheveled she looks. And, uh... Yeah, cigarettes are cool. Cigarettes make you cool. Uh, overall, very good piece. And next up, we've got Jin Hyo's one. And uh, I'm gonna be honest, dude, this is the one that actually inspired me to, uh, to start the contest, because I was like, dude, fan art is awesome. I actually, I actually F with this stuff heavy, dude. And, uh, yeah, you guys will see. I left a 
I left the decision up to celebrity guest judges. All right, next up we've got Lazry Lest. Um, this one's just hectic, dude. This one's pretty awesome. I like how I have the uh, Air Jordans, a slice of pizza, the skirt with the pants. Yeah, man, this one's just... This one reminds me of a phrase. Pizza plus video games? Epic, dude. Sister, homework? No way, P.U. Yeah, that's that's the kind of uh, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this one. All right, next up, we've got a very haunting piece, a uh, mock album cover by Lena VM. This one's pretty sick. I I really like it. I like how the uh, I like the parental advisory. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like it adds a lot to this image really makes you think what kind of twisted freaking fricked up kind of things could could that little cartoon girl be saying on that album next up we've got mr 976 evil and uh this one's epic i really like the uh shaky lines it's very it's very dynamic very uh power driven it makes me feel like all of the electrons in her body are just excited right now it's like their valence shells are about to be filled. That's what I'm kind of getting. Also, in case you gamers didn't notice, I mean, me personally, I totally noticed this right away, so I'm just explaining this in case you guys didn't notice it. Um, yeah, that's a that's a big pack of cigarettes in the back, and it's very blurred out, so it's, like, kind of hard for you to see, and the background is, like, meant to complement it, so it's, like... It's kind of like subliminal messaging. It's trying to get you to smoke because that would make you cooler. But, anyways... On to the next one, we've got Nathan Pratan. This one's epic. I, I really like uh, the creativity of the scenario that you chose here. You know, the whole lighting it on the stove burner, you know? That's kind of a classic move. That's kind of a classic gamer move. You know, I've been saying this for years. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, yeah, it's, it's just good. It's just good. I, I really like the style. It's pretty epic, and the background adds to it a lot. It really complements the style of shading as well. I F with it heavy, dude. I literally think it's pretty good. I, I literally think it's pretty good. All right, next up, we've got this oil painting type thing from Optical Anomaly. Dude, this is epic. This is actually my desktop background now. <laughs> yeah, this one's sick. I just really like the the kind of ambiance. It, it, it kind of subtly shows the the kind of degenerate kind of kind of atmosphere, but it doesn't say it too directly. You know, if you were unfamiliar with the source material, you'd just be like, "WTF is this? Why is the hair half and half?" <laughs> like, I I have no good commentary to give on this aside from it's really good. I like the underlying atmosphere of filth, and uh, it's pretty swag. You know, it, it takes a lot of balls to uh, to smoke on a subway. Not that I would know, because I don't really, I don't really take a subway. I don't think I've taken a subway since like I'm invoking my Miranda rights. All right, next up we've got Panic Clinic. This one's epic. I, I actually really like how it incorporates a lot of. A lot of elements of my character that I really, I really like. You know, I, I think this is a really sick image. I love the lighting. I love the concept of, you know, sitting on the steps ne next to a fire throwy. You know what I'm saying, dude? Like, popping a fire throwy on there, just one can, tossing it, <laughs> sipping on a drink, doing a little highlight with a marker. Yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, next up, we've got Positive Vibes Abusers, little 3D model. I actually really like this. I especially like the frame in which she's whipping and nay naying That's like, that's kind of, that's kind of top tier, dude. That's kind of A1 steak sauce. Next up, we've got Real Safi, and uh, we've got another traditional media drawing, which is epic. I am not going to confirm or deny whether or not this was based on uh, true events or not, 
I'm yet again invoking my Fifth Amendment right. All right, next up, we've got a colored traditional media one. What? By a Sultanizer. Sultanizer. I'm gonna try not to say that fast. Yeah, this one's epic, dude. I actually really like it. I like the shading. And uh, I like the shot that you did where it incorporates like IRL lighting into the piece. I think that added a really cool like dynamic effect. Nice. All right, next up we got Zox Roxon. <laughs> I really like the style of this one. It's just crazy. Everything's going wild. I feel like uh, I feel like we kind of look like demons that'll show up in my sleep or like right as I'm on the verge of sleep. This is like after you stay up for three days on a meth binge. Like this is what you see when you watch my show. But yeah, it's really cool. I actually really like it. And yeah, that was all of the, uh, that was all the submissions. Yeah, without any further ado, here are my celebrity guest judges. They will be the ones providing the votes for who won, and, uh, it's pretty much out of my hands, because I did not have a vote myself. I didn't want to be biased. <laughs> yo, 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 what it is, mother frickers? It's your boy, Saws, and here are my three choice picks from the Triple Beppo art competition. First and foremost, from at Le Lasery Lest. <laughs> from at Lasery Lest, we have, I don't know what I, it's, what is, I don't know, why a rocket? Why the Pete's, why is there a rocket? Like, why does the rocket have a face? Why the orange kicks the pants under the skirt? The, the pizza, why are we in space? What is happening? <laughs> Why is this? All right. <laughs> up, <laughs> up next, up next. From <clears throat> from Mintberry, we have uh, this low poly uh, choops on her way to review penis music. Uh, yeah, I, I simply like the style. I'm a real sucker for it. And yeah, you did a great job. I, 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 I like it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The last one is from Optical Anomaly. Uh, just insane. Like, the quality is, is absurd. They captured every aspect of Beppo that I think personifies him and his channel, and, and that's the grunginess, the, the underground nature, perhaps, the characters, the positive vibes despite everything. It's just all around, it's just good. The art, you know, on top of all that, it's, it's just a very beautiful piece. I simply am in shock that uh, Beppo has such dedicated and skilled fans. Uh, keep it up, guys. Like, really, this is this is just insane. I, I'm I'm at a loss for words. Uh, I could gush about it all day, uh, but I'm going to. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna keep it at that. Those are my three choice picks: John Doe, Mintberry, and Optical Anomaly. Congratulations for uh, capturing my attention, at least. And I hope that Beppo can uh, see where I'm coming from in all three of my personal choices. I wish the best for you all. <laughs> hello, hello, and welcome to the Woohoo's Countdown of the Triple Beppo, the Beppo, the Triple Beppo All Kind Test. I, 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 I went ahead and I looked at some beautiful art and I said, I said, I said, you know what? Here's my top three. Here's my top three. Okay, okay. First and foremost, first and foremost. All right, all right, go, 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 go over here. Okay, so look, 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 look. You see this? You see this? This is number three. Number three. Triple Beppo 2022. All right. This is from Panic Clinic. The reason why I'm going with this one. The reason why I'm going with this one. All right. First of all, illegal crimes. Fantastic. I enjoy the illegal crimes. Second of all, you got the kicks. You got them poos shoes. What's a foo shoes? Anyway, you got the shoes on, looking good. And also, you got a couple ciggies. You're spraying it down. I'm like it then. All right. So, Mr. Panic Clinic, good job to you. You get number three from the world. All right. It looks sex. Look at this up close. Ah, banger. Banger. Absolutely banger. Number two. Number two. Mint pair. The PlayStation 1 graphics. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The aesthetic alone is causing me to have a little bit of a coon moment. And I'm feeling it. I'm absolutely feeling it. Busting my balls to this image. So thank you, Mint Barry, for getting number two from the world. I appreciate it. It's really good. 
God bless. And number one from the woo in uh, the, the, the grand times, the number one counting down. Here we go. It is, without a doubt, this one right here. Mr. Up, uh, Mr. Up, uh, oops, there. Yeah. Mr. Vime X, Vam, Vam, Vam X. Look at that. Look at that. Background art by me. Yes, yes, yes. Looking good. You look like a little bit of an Ebola, Beppo. And I'm liking that a little bit. You look, look a little infectious. You're going to go ahead and crawl inside of me. Or a tapeworm. A lot of things, honestly. I don't know what that is, but it's definitely a disease, and I'm liking it. That's why I'm giving this number one. I like diseases. I like death. I like being in pain. So thank you. Thank you. I really like it. Mr. Vine, you take the dub, all right? Simply put, you're a dub god. Wait, I just realized, is it, wait, why is there a chat behind me? That shouldn't be the case. Um... Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hello there, your friendly neighborhood elf guy man person here to be a judge, I think. There were some really awesome entries that make the hashtag Beppo sucks a flat out lie, so I'll have to take Beppo to court for slander after I finally get over my ketamine addiction and can afford a lawyer. The ones I've painfully been torn to choose are the entries Hanako, Linavium, and Optical Anomaly. Though there were some really tough choices. Hanako is just beautiful in style and attractiveness. They kind of blew me away with the attitude being presented here, and dude, I'm all for it. Linavium in their entry was brimming with style too. Maybe I'm biased because I love snacks? But the design was just really cool. Not to mention the album cover vibes was just a nice inclusion. If I saw this on a random Bandcamp page, you have no idea how fast I'd click this. Even if it's that crappy snakecore music that really shouldn't exist. Finally is Anomaly, which just has so much atmosphere. I don't know who the hell taught you how to make backgrounds like this, but you've effectively transported me to whatever train station this was. And it kind of makes me feel sad and lonely. So if you don't mind, can you please send me your address so that I can include you in the lawsuit? Thanks. But that's it for me! Good luck to the other intestines, you all fucking rock! So as you can see, we had a bit of a tie for... Well, for three of the positions. So I did what any, any rational person would do. And I went to my nearest 7-Eleven. I found the most disheveled looking man who asked me for a cigarette and I... I went up to him with my phone and I said, Which of these three entries do you think deserves... $50 and so he picked for me he picked optical anomaly and so that was our winner that was our winner and uh, yeah after that I gave him one dollar and then I walked away and I never talked to him again so as it turns out guys apparently all three people chose charity which means I have to donate a total of two hundred dollars to charity so uh, let's see what they picked, and let's hope that they picked some worthy causes, so that my money isn't just going to waste. Alright, so first off, I gotta say this was a good choice. Lena VM, I don't know if this was intentional or not, but as many longtime fans of the channel know, I love myself some hot Latina babes, so donating 50 bucks to the Mexican women's charity no sweat off my back. I am happy to do it. All right, and then next up with another $50. This one was for the PS1 model tubes. It's uh, 50 bucks to children of Ukraine. Uh, I'm pretty down with that. You know, in the last episode, I promised that I would save an orphanage full of kids from Ukraine. And I guess I followed up on that. I guess that this proves that at the end of the video, when I promise you something for a like, it's always gonna be true. All right, well, save the kids, happy to do it. Uh. All right, and for our number one position, it looks like we got the Red Cross, the Ukraine Crisis Red Cross Operations dude. All right, listen. In case there are any agents monitoring this YouTube channel or any of these videos, I gotta say, I do not affiliate myself politically with any side of any war. But I gotta say, that ordinance that says you can just pick up abandoned military equipment and vehicles as a citizen of Ukraine, I think that's pretty baller, so that's why I feel comfortable giving this donation. You know, that's kind of a big nuts move. That's kind of a fat cock kind of big nuts kind of move, you know? 
Anyways, thanks you guys for watching. Thank you guys for participating in the art contest. We had a lot of great entries this time, and I can't wait to hold another one once I get the funds together. So, thank you guys all for taking an interest in this channel at all. And, uh, as always... Subscribe to make me feel better about my regrets! And if you like this video right now, right here, right now, uh, I'm literally going to talk to right now and I'm going to tell him, hey, what you're doing is bad. You can't be doing that, dude. You literally got to settle down with that because that's honestly just not chill. And he's going to stop. And it's all going to be because you like this video. You right there, if you were watching this. See, you can't see it because it's not tracked, but I'm pointing at the camera right now and I'm saying, viewer, if you like this video right now, there will be no more problems in the world, and I can promise you that. I can promise you that with all of my heart. So please just like the video and, uh, yeah. And as always, I'd like to give a special thank you and a special shout out to my Patreons over at Patreon.com. Uh, yeah, like... Specifically for this video guys, thank you so much because it allowed me to donate money to charity Whereas, you know, otherwise I wouldn't really feel like I'm able to You know, part of the reason I, I kind of added the whole charity option the, the whole charity option to this was because I kind of felt bad about taking Patreon money while only posting like one video a month My life just got really busy and, you know, I, I lost a ball in a freak nuclear accident so Thank you guys for continuing to support me. I, I really appreciate it. I promise more content. I promise. So, special thank you and special shout out to Walter, Thick Melon, Sad Femme, Rebecca Prentice, Prisoner Suicide, Mitkit, Misos Alpinks, Lurker of the Gloom, Kim. Cumcumber26 and Chairfruit. Uh, I forgot to say it in the beginning, but those were connoisseurs of fine art. Next up, we've got our pseudo intellectual supporters. We've got Zucchini. You already know. The homie Maroni. And that little green dog man, Saws. Also, thank you for being a celebrity guest, Judge Bro. And finally, without any further ado, the only reason that I was able to afford a vape this month, we've got Alec, our one and only aficionado of degeneracy. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. But yeah, uh, try to enjoy life while the world falls apart. That's my only advice for the end of this episode. The Triple Beppo Super Show is the only media I enjoy consuming. I sacrifice small animals to appease my favorite virtual idol. <laughs>